I'm Adam with IP Exchange, and we are at the Arduino Global Event. Arduino have just announced that they've been acquired by Qualcomm. That's big news, but what does that mean? Well, if you're an embedded uh, design engineer, you will have definitely used an Arduino board. You know, this could be an Arduino Mega, this could be an Arduino Nano, or even an Arduino Uno. Well, Arduino have taken the Uno form factor that you know and love and slapped a big Q at the end, and the Q stands for Qualcomm. So right in the beating heart of the Arduino Uno Q is the Qualcomm Dragonwing QRB2210 CPU. And this bad boy comes stocked with Linux, and they're running stock Debian right on this board. But I hear you ask, hang on a minute, but I use my Arduino Uno for real-time operations. I don't want the overhead of running a whole Linux operating system. Well, that's okay, because on the flip side of this board, they have an ST Microelectronics MCU, which can still do all of the real-time processing that you know and love from your Arduino Uno boards. And so with this sort of split architecture, Arduino are really pushing this idea that they want to be the Swiss army knife for developers, for your hobbyists, for your students, but also for home automation or industrial applications. So together with this board, Arduino are shipping this software called AppLab. Now AppLab takes everything you know and love from the traditional Arduino IDE experience, its simplicity, its accessibility, but packing with it the complex feature set and the advanced feature set of the Qualcomm processor. So what is something that this processor can do? It can do AI inference right on the chip. So this board can run AI models to do with image classification, to do with language recognition, right on the silicon itself without any communication with the cloud. And in AppLab, they, Arduino, are providing several pre-trained models to complete exactly that purpose. But they're not just providing pre-trained models, they're also gonna allow you to fine tune your AI models to run on the board itself. So, why are Qualcomm doing this? You know, usually Qualcomm, they're known for making handset uh, microprocessors. You know, this Samsung Galaxy S223 is run by a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. Why are they now in the embedded hardware space? Well, about 80% of embedded hardware's power usage comes from communication with the cloud. And Qualcomm had a look at that and went, you know what, I want a piece of that pie. I want my name, our name, to be in the embedded low power hardware industry. And so they've partnered with Arduino really as a statement of intent that, hey, you know, we don't just make handset or laptop chips. We're here in the embedded hardware industry to stay. And that's very exciting. Arduino is known for its open source ethos, and that's not changing with Qualcomm. Typically, if you wanted to work with a Qualcomm CPU, you have to go through some hoops. You've got to work for some big companies. Now, you can get an Arduino CPU on an Arduino Uno board for under $50, and that's not been possible until now. And yet, Arduino is still keeping the open source ethos. They're still going to provide documentation. They're still going to provide the ease of use and the easy tutorials. They'll still teach you how to turn your LED on and off, but with a Qualcomm chip. And that's really exciting for anyone who's never had access to this silicon before. And if you had asked Qualcomm about 18 months ago, hey, you know, are you guys interested in, in entering, you know, this embedded hardware space? They would have said no. And yet now, here they are with Arduino, and I cannot wait to see what people bake these into.